Hi, I'm going to give you an overview of using BigBlueButton as an LTI tool, in this case from Blackboard. Let's start. I'm going to log in as administrator, and in Blackboard, I'm going to add an LTI, a building block, or in this case, an LTI tool provider. So I have a server with some of the information set up already, so I'm just going to cut and paste it in. And I'm going to set it to be global, so we'll call it tool key simply as BBB. There's the shared secret. And for the parameters, I'm going to say record equals true. This way we can record the sessions. And I'll send the data over any connection. Click Submit. I'm going to go in then, manage a placement, and let's create a placement for it. The label will be big, blue button, or the handle in this case, BBB01. And the tool provider URL will be here. Okay. Let's submit. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to go back in as a course instructor. And I have a course set up here. So in the content, I am going to add course link. And I will scroll down and do this as big blue button. And I'm going to say welcome to my virtual classroom. Okay. Submit. And let's launch it. So what happens is it will launch into a session. Uh, there's a recording here already, but I'm going to join a meeting. This is now running the Big Blue Button, uh, accessing the Big Blue Button server, running with inside of, in this case, Blackboard. So I'm going to switch over, and I have a student already set up here. So if I go to content, I've already logged in here as Carl Greens, and I'm going to join the meeting. And I will join the audio as well. And there, and I'm going to broadcast my webcam. Cool. So, right now, Carl can see my webcam here as well. Here I am. So, let me upload some slides. And what you're seeing here is a real time sharing of the audio, video, presentation, and chat. So, hi, Carl. And Carl, come on. Hi, Fred. So, a bit overview of BigBlueButton. BigBlueButton, our mission is that every student with a web browser should have access to a high quality online learning experience. We intend to make that possible with BigBlueButton, and it is an open source project. So, it does the collaboration and teaching. So, we have the real time sharing of the audio, video, slides, chat, and desktop, and built in record and playback of everything except desktop sharing. The three use cases we do for teaching are one-to-one, -one, small group collaboration, and one-to-many. A bit about the project, it's been in development for over four years, almost 1,500 members on the mailing list, very active community, got in the Google Summer of Code 2010, forked over a thousand times on GitHub, localized into over 35 languages, and we're the only open source project with a money-back guarantee. If you can't install Big Blue Button in 30 minutes or less, we give you your money back. And now Big Blue Button has LTI certification for 1.0. And you can get the parameters for launching into as an LTI tool from any Big Blue Button 0.81 dev or greater server just by entering this command. And there's the information for the project. OK. So let's say I'm done my class. I'm going to log out. I'm going to log out here. And I go back into the course. Now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and we'll go back in and we'll see the recording that was there. Okay, just a few minutes have passed. We'll let the recording process. So we'll go back to content. Click on Big Blue Button. There we see there's now another presentation. I also have the ability to manage the recordings here so I can publish or unpublish a recording so this will be no longer visible to students and I can delete it as well. This is the recording for the presentation. So here I can see the slides. There's my video. I can scrub back and forth through the presentation. And there, a student can see it if they were unable to attend the virtual class live. That's it. That's an overview of Big Blue Button and the Big Blue Button LTI integration.